6.2, number 22. Factor the polynomial. Now this polynomial has three terms, so it's a trinomial. And that means we're going to want to do trinomial factoring. So we're going to have two binomial factors, if it's factorable. But first, we want to check, is there a GCF? And that's going to make our work easier if there is. Let's see, everybody has a squared at least. So we're going to pull out an a squared. For b, this one doesn't have a b. So we can't pull out any b's. And there's no common factors for the numbers. So a squared is the GCF. And we're going to have leftovers. a squared plus 6. We pulled out a squared, so we've got a left over. And also a b minus 7. We pulled out the a squared, so that's gone. So we have a b squared left. All right, so this a squared is just going to tag along. And then we're going to have binomial factors, because we are factoring a trinomial. And because we have an a squared at the beginning and b squared at the end, we know we want a and a at the beginning, b and b at the end. And we also want some numbers attached to the b, because we want to have two numbers that multiply to give a minus 7 and add up to give a positive 6. So let's look at factors of the last term, minus 7, that sum to the middle term, plus 6. Well, we don't have much to do here. It's 1 times 7 are the only factors of 7. And factors of minus 7 means they multiply to give a negative. One of them has to be negative. And to see which one we want negative, we look to see that it adds up to a positive 6. That means the bigger one should be positive. Smaller one should be negative. And, yep, that adds up to a 6. All right, so that means we want to use minus 1 and plus 7. And we could either put the minus 1 there or leave it blank. I'll put it there for now. But we could also say just a take away b. Then do a quick check to make sure the trinomial factoring worked. So we want to compare it to the trinomial. a squared, yep, plus 7ab minus 1ab is plus 6ab, yep. Minus 1b times 7b is negative 7b squared. So that worked. And I would write the final answer without the 1 there. I'm not sure if my math lab would mark that wrong with the 1 or not. But it's a good habit to get into to not write unnecessary ones. So there we go. Final answer is a squared times a minus b times a plus 7b.